hi guys welcome back to cs technology today guys in this class we are going to create one of the basic project to do list by using react js and pure css we are going to use lot of functions and hooks in this project so for demo we can see that so i have css so if you first you need to add items html you can just click on plus button guys so we are going to get that data you can just tap cs technology click on this because if you want to delete guys you can also delete that see so guys the same project we are going to do that guys from this scratch step by step we are going to discuss that okay so you can just open this guys see guys already i have erased all the things here is i have a main component and input component and list component guys i have created two extra component here okay so because i don't want to mess in the same uh, component that's the reason one is for guys creating input and one component is for a listing okay so we'll start that so first basic thing is you'll just take this so this is a short form guys you can also just add extension es6 extension you can add here okay so that will get short form here so we'll give class name we'll give main we take this menu css already i have written here guys so just i will import i will be sharing with you my github link so that you can go through the css you can see that guys css already have written here okay just will click on live See guys it's a live okay now first step guys we have to create a input for that okay so you just remove this yeah here you can just take the server name local 5173 so now guys first step is to creating an input okay so here we are going to create an input first step again you can take this rfc so here guys we are just taking input input and also we'll give class name here input container so now we can just see that scrolling guys just a minute yeah so now first we have to import here guys import that component import input yeah. inside the div we have to call that yeah so you can just see now yeah, now we have input so here guys i have already written css for that just i will give the class name input text so now we can just see that see guys it looks good right now second step we have to create a button here so for creating button you can just take button just give plus class name you can give i have given button now we'll just see that see guys input has been created and button has been created right third step guys so whatever guys we are going to write in input we need to get the data so for that we have to first create a use state for that so we'll use use state for that you can take use state here input set input you can give any name guys here as you want use state so initially use state will be blank so here we are going to use on change guys on change so that we can target this uh, input value guys just we take set input e dot target dot value so guys I have, we have targeted that value exactly so for displaying purpose you can just 
take h2 here you can just mention input i hope guys uh, this way you know that you state while we using you state first we need to mention the state name guys and where we need to update we need to update that by using set input guys okay so now we can see that so guys if we can write here cs so we are getting the output right cs technology yeah guys, now it's working fine okay now we can just error this input is working fine you can just comment this yeah second step guys what we have to do so which are thing guys we are writing here we need to first store that value guys and we need to get that data by array format guys line by line right so for that guys we are going to use again state here for that we have to use a spread operator guys i will tell you how to use spread operator so first we create a state for this we can give it any name to do set to do use state initially guys we will give a blank array for that okay so now here we are going to create a function for spread operator you can give any name add item you can pause here right so here guys set okay. here guys inside the array so we need to take three dot and we need to pass the two dollars so this is a spread operator okay so you can just take that item so that's it guys now guys if you want to share any data from one component to other component like parent component to child component so what we have to do so this is an interview question as well guys for that we have to pass the properties guys okay how to pass the property guys so we can just so inside this component guys just we need to take the tired item so we will pass i item okay so for receiving that we need to take here guys in main component we need to just pass properties sorry yeah property this is the way guys okay so here what we have to do so in the button so once you click on that button so you can take on click here on click arrow function here guys you can just pass the set input properties dot we have given add item right so let's see that yeah property name add item so just we have to pass that add item yeah guys that's it now we'll see that yeah, as of now we will not get that so yeah, now first step is completed we have created input and we have created button and we have given value as well for that right so second step we have to create a list for that guys so once you click on this button i should get a list for that right so for that we can go next component guys here list just same thing you can type refc here And same way here also we just we pass the properties you can give class name a list here we'll take span for that guys and inside this span guys i'm going to use for delete function guys or oh, there is a font font awesome for that so I, ha I have used that okay so i will show you i will be providing you guys that in the uh, description you will get that okay so you can just check this guys we have it's a index html here we need to paste that guys okay yeah this link is i will be providing you in a description so that you can just copy that okay so for that we will get that delete icon guys so I will show you delete icon. I just so here I will just write that class name 
fa solid trash yes this is a trash icon okay just will import here quickly import we have new list because so the same thing again we have to just give here a list is capital right here still it yeah you can just remove this guys this is not a required now you can just see the list guys yeah now you can just open this just a minute guys I think it's loading Did we made any mistake here now, right? Just a minute there, let me check. I is loading. I think this icon name. FA solid, FA trash, canary, yeah, it's perfect only. Yeah no issue guys okay here also we need to give class name sorry for that yeah. i forgot guys the class name i have written here okay okay icons yes so that's the reason why it's loading actually so now i think it's it will be working fine yeah now it's working fine we got this delete icon guys so we got right so once i click on that it has to be deleted guys and if you write uh, something here so we need to get that guys for that what we need to do this is a final step we have to use map for that guys okay how to use map so we can see here so just remove this guys here we are going to use map okay so for using map you can just take this guys we have written to do right to do dot map so inside this we can take any you can give list item so we have to return the value guys just return inside that we need to paste it the list so here we have to pass that item guys okay you can just pass this item is equal to list item See guys so that's it now we can just see that so if you write any name here banana so we got okay also we have to pass the this property here guys okay you can just pass the property here property dot item we have given name item right so that's the item so now we can see that so yeah, we, we got that right so also you can just type apple and just click on and also guys once you click that so it has to be removed right so still it's there because we have to we have only given value here yeah guys so here what we have to do so just we'll give the value for that value you can give input and and also here guys in button also we have to give just empty for that okay so here I added an input. You can just set input empty guys. Okay, so that it will be error so guys. Once you click on that button, so it will be error immediately. Okay, so just we'll see that while showing red. Okay, in button already I have given set input. Sorry.
okay so here guys instead of here you can just remove this now here we don't want to give that you can directly pass the properties here yes so directly we can pass the property here what we'll do so here guys we need to just take the set input guys. okay set input here you can do blank yeah guys now it's perfect okay so instead of passing here guys just we have to pass here properties and here in here guys, we have used that set input in the blank okay so now what will happen guys if i click on this so now you can just remove this we can write mango so if i click on mango is see it has been removed right so this is the difference guys we can write anything now fruits okay we got that now guys next step is we have to once you click on this we have it, it has to be delete right so for that guys we just will create a one more function you can take function here so a lot of function guys we are using here so so that if you have any doubt in that it will be cleared okay for using function guys i will tell you first we need to have function so later guys function name so i will be taking function name delete so you can give any function name guys as as you want so delete i will give delete item so here i will be bracket so this is a mandatory step that we have to use next guys logic so what we have to do the logic we have to return right here guys okay so you can just take now we have to delete that right so for that we need to use again a spread operator guys first we have to store the value by array guys step by step we have to delete that right so for that we have a splice we'll use that guys okay how to use splice i will tell you you can first create a new item here is equal to you can just take square bracket what you can get to do this is the initial value guys next we will again take new item here we have to use dot splice so that line by line it will be deleted guys okay so you can give just key for one so here also just we have to pass that key you can write anything you can instead of key you can write security anything you can write that guys okay so i have written key here again in set to do i will be passing same new item yeah so that's it guys the same this delete item we have to use here you can just delete item we can delete delete item same thing is okay the same property guys now we have to pass in list so i skip the red yeah no password now the same thing is we have to pass here so here we this is a click button right so i will just show you so this is a click button right? here we have to use on click again okay so we'll take on click you can take target value so insert properties dot we have a delete item right delete delete item so inside us you can give properties dot index i think there is a error guys again let me just quickly check that we have on click okay 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 sorry and also guys we forget to do one more thing here here yeah here guys we have to just pass the 
I see, okay, it's okay, index so that it will uh, come step by step. Guys. Okay, now we'll just see that. So you can now try to click. See that we got that. Okay, I think something wrong. Just a minute. I will just check HTML and uh, CSS. End up in JavaScript. No, I want to. There is a spelling mistake. I want to delete JavaScript. Okay, JavaScript is not deleting. You can just okay, okay. Just a minute, guys. Let me just check that. So, delete item we have given index, right? Okay, we have given key and splice we have used here. Set data and splice key. I think here. Okay, no, no. That's okay, okay, guys. Yes, yes. I have forgot to provide the key here is okay we have to give same here key yeah we have to pass i symbol also we have to pass one more here index index yeah now it's perfect right now we can just see that let's look yeah perfect now we'll just see that again we can just type again banana You can get a mango. Apple guys. Okay, now I want to delete apple. So if I click on apple, see guys, it's working perfectly, guys. Now you can see that it's working perfectly. You can just step again. I hope I hope guys, so it has understood. So in case we have any doubt, guys, you can comment here. So I will be providing you my GitHub link also. So that you can go through that i will be sharing with you guys and also the font icon link guys, i will be sharing within a description so you can just copy that and you can paste it in index.html okay see guys now again i will be showing you so if you click on this it's working guys so that's all guys today class if you are watching this video first time obviously you'll be get like you'll be not able to understand guys kindly watch this video multiple times so obviously will be get understand guys okay even though I have also do many practice here after doing practice only I got that guys so that's all guys today class I hope you enjoyed the class thank you thanks for watching